We just disbutted Stormtrooper, our newborn Nigerian dwarf goat. I did shoot video, but after looking at it, we've decided not to show any of the painful parts. This first process for us was just too painful and upsetting for Wendy and for a little stormtrooper. There is video that I can show. The rest of it, I'll just have to describe to you. It was a traumatic experience for us, but a necessary one, and one that we will do again for our goats going forward. Settle. 5.7. You're a big boy. A big boy. He's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> You're adorable. You like your swing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it up here. <laughs> He's such a silly boy. <laughs> it's a hammock. It's a goat hammock. You goopers. <laughs> He's such a silly. <laughs> okay. Come on, silly. Oh, come on. Yes, I know. Oh, Sienna is hopping. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> She's a happy girl.
Hello, Trooper. Are you looking forward to losing your horn buds today? No? You're awfully cute right now. You look a little funny with those burn marks on your head in a little bit. Gave him his baby aspirin. So that will have to wait a minute. And I'm gonna give him a little probiotics too, just because I'm being silly. This is all in preparation for disbudding Stormtrooper, our newborn baby Nigerian dwarf goat. to wait for the baby aspirin to kick in so I'm gonna go put Sienna's crying because she's in her stall by herself because Velker got out and I thought well I'll put him up here and get this ready first and then I'll go take care of her because Valkyrie really wanted to chew on the new molasses vitamin bucket thing we got today so she's quite annoyed to be able to see it but not to taste it <laughs> So I thought I'd get, let her have her treat. And he can relax for a while. Can you stand here though, while, so that he doesn't yeah, go off him. the corners? So disbudding isn't something that we're looking forward to doing. It's very traumatic for the goat, but probably will be more traumatic for Wendy. The goat's horns can eventually get the goat stuck in fencing and that would you know potentially be a life-threatening thing plus the, the water. plus the horns can can hurt us or the other goats so it's it's recommended to disbud your goats when they're when they're pretty young generally four to five days stormtrooper here is a little older than that we just weren't ready to do that with all the storm damage and uh, no electricity and one thing after another. I need to give him a shot. Yeah. What is this shot for? It's a tetanus injection since I didn't CDT, CD&T Valkyrie soon enough to get it in her colostrum. Okay. Now I need to give him a tetanus shot. And it's a sub Q, so... I've never done this before, so hopefully, and obviously, because I haven't put the tetanus in it yet. <laughs> Good grief. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but that's pretty stupid. You need to, you can't do it that way. You have to turn it up this way. This so way? That, so the air bubbles will go to the oh, top and tap it a little. Okay. You're gonna hold him really good, cause. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you get his skin. I didn't get an alcohol pad. Okay, storm Oh, you did good. Yeah, he can make a girl. She's a good boy. You love mama still. Hello. Yes. Okay, I'm glad I've done the rules now, because <laughs> that's been making me crazy. Just why I didn't get Valkyrie done yet, because I've been so putting it off. Dead goat walking. No, Brian, don't say stuff like that. 
No, I think it's sweet that you're trying to comfort your goat beforehand. This is more like comforting me. Yeah. You have a cute little forehead. I can feel your bumps. Yeah, you can have big bumps. Big, big horny bumps. Stinky. Pretty soon it'll be all black and singed and ugly looking. Yeah. But better in the long run. Yeah, his fur will grow back around, or his hair will grow back around it. And then he'll be better. Yeah. Can you hold him? Are you holding him? Not very well, because I'm not, well, tell me he's not down far enough. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll just sit here with this okay. very hot thing. Okay, go ahead. This is as good as it's going to get. Five seconds. Okay, okay. Here, wait a second. Are you ready? Let me get the ear out of the way. <laughs> Let me get the ears out of the way. Okay, I got him. Okay. So the hot iron is in the shape of a ring and it burns down around each of the horn buds. You have to make contact, good even contact, for at least five seconds for the process to be effective. And you wait a few moments after doing one before you do the other so the little goat's head doesn't overheat. The goat does scream. Who wouldn't? You're all right. It'll be okay. Yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah, you'll have to do it again. We'll need to do it again anyways. The outer layer of the horn bud peels off after you've done the first burn around the base of it, you have to go back in again and burn the horn bud in the middle part so it doesn't grow. They do make a special attachment for doing just that. We didn't happen to have that, so we just used the side of the little pipe-shaped um, hot iron to singe the, the horn bud. Going forward in the future, I think we will get that special attachment just to make it a little easier for us. <laughs> How's little Stormtrooper doing? He's good. He was playing and he's being all rambunctious like usual. Yeah, yesterday he was a little subdued. And I let them out to play in the yard for a little while and Sienna was just bouncing everywhere and he was just sort of like hmm. <laughs> so I knew he was a little bit unhappy but today he was playing just like she was so that was good yeah. yeah she's getting so curious and mischievous yes mischievous little girl aren't you she still got a tiny little piece of her umbilical cord just hanging out there See that or not on camera. It's right here. I got ink on my fingers today from the printer. Come here. They think I'm the jungle gym. <laughs> These are some affectionate goats. These are not bottle baby raised goats. These are just goats that I've spent a lot of time with. <laughs> so they crawl all over me. Don't they? Hmm. Bubbies. Stop eating my hair. When's it going to be Sienna's turn for the disbudding? Not too long, because I can feel little nubs starting, so I might need to do it next week. Mm. I don't like it. It's the most awful thing ever. Mm. You're all not right. I'm trying to eat my hair. Look at how he's chewing on me. 
Hey, you probably shouldn't do that. That's probably goat misbehavior. Gummy art. Such a pretty girl. She's got the cutest little markings because her little crown on her head. She's got a crown. It goes around the head. See? Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? Because she's a princess goat, aren't you? Her little frosty ears. <laughs> Hi. And you're just all cute and spotty, aren't you? Just cute and spotty, and you like to eat hair. All right. I misunderstood about us getting a completely separate attachment to help with the disbudding. We'll try that again. Okay, Indigo? Try not to pee on camera this time. Yes. All right. I was completely wrong about us getting a separate attachment to help with disbudding. Wendy was actually getting a completely separate device, another electric dehorner, one that would be smaller and would fit Sienna's smaller horns a little better. I'll give you a better look at them side by side. Don't worry, they're not hot right now. We have disputed Sienna, but I didn't shoot any video this time. This time, Wendy and I traded roles. I did the burning while she held the goat, and it went much smoother. This is probably how we'll do it going forward. Oh, oh, went down, went down. Went down. <laughs> oh, poop. Is he poop on me? He's got a very poopy butt all of a sudden. Yes, you're a mess. With your baby poop. Hmm. Sienna never has achy butt. He's always got achy butt. I hope he didn't get any boots. Just washed him. Are you filming me <laughs> checking for baby goat poop on myself, Brian? Mm -hmm. That's just weird. 